Good morning and welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. I'm having a cup of Irish coffee here to set myself straight today as I dive into some vintage paperbacks. Hang on a second. Mm-hmm. Cheers to all of you and thank you for checking in. Today's vintage paperback pick is John O'Hara. One of the viewers had mentioned John O'Hara, uh, one of the great writers from post-war and pre-war and post-war America, 30s and 40s and so forth. John O'Hara was born in 1905 and died in 1970. He was one of the major uh, best-selling authors for many, many decades. Uh, the paperback pick today is Hellbox, which is a collection of short stories. I'll have a scan of this at the end. Now, John O'Hara began his publishing career in the 30s. He wrote for the New Yorker for many years. I think all of the stories that appear in this collection appeared in the New Yorker. And they're very short. Um, I think there's a dozen in here. It's a short little paperback. But his novels are highly acclaimed. I thought I'd start uh, talking about John O'Hara with this, a vintage paperback. His first novel was Appointment in Samara, which is uh, highly acclaimed. Nice first edition to have if you're interested in American literature from that period, about mid-30s. This was followed by Butterfield 8, which was, uh, I think, also in the 1930s, which was made into a motion picture many decades later with... Elizabeth Taylor. I'm not a fan of the movie. I like the book. I'm not a fan of the movie, although I, there's nothing wrong with looking at Elizabeth Taylor running around in her lingerie. Uh, I think that's just a fine idea. But <laughs> some films have certain aspects that are interesting and some don't. Um, but anyways, John O'Hara, really a great writer. He, he's not, he's not uh, talked about much today. So my vintage paperback pick is this. These came out of the New Yorker. It, very much um, an East Coast Manhattan type of writer. You know, there are certain writers from that period that I think are fascinating. Certainly John O'Hara is one of them. I love the cover art on this, by the way. That's very 1940s. I think this paperback dates from 1950. Uh, and it sold for 25 cents, published by Avon. So these stories are very short, three, four pages. Um, there's a good dozen of them here, actually a little more than that. And, you know, it, it gives you a flavor for his style, which was a clipped journalistic style, not unlike Hemingway, uh, although Hemingway would go off, uh, you know, he would have run-on sentences. Uh, but it's a pretty clipped, straightforward style. Again, he was a journalist, and he wrote for The New Yorker and so forth. And this is my vintage paperback pick. If you want to look for something different to read... Check out the old novels or short stories of the late, great John O'Hara. Hellbox is the vintage paperback. Appointment in Samara and Butterfield 8 are some of his novels. Uh, so check that out. Thank you for checking in to McNulty's Book Corral. Stay well, stay happy. Have yourself a nice cup of Irish coffee and have a great day.